Well, it's actually, I, I looked at the video, Judge, it's a mixture of both. It's a mixture of being polite and not so polite. And we know that from this case, he was not so polite when he encountered, encountered these police. Okay, I want to deny neither one of okay. those are relevant. All right, Judge, so can we talk then about the lawsuit? I mean, I'm going to ask, I mean, I'm going to uh, cross-examine him about the fact that he has filed a lawsuit. He's seeking damages. Uh, and I'm in possession of a blog where he says, my lawyers are taking this case for free because they want the money. They won't take the case if they didn't think there was money in it. And it's John Masters, Louisville, Kentucky. Now, it was after, it was after this incident. Okay. Mr. Stegmaier, do you have any comment about this? No, I, I, I mean, I don't think it needs to be belabored, and I don't think the blog needs to come up unless he is un, you know inconsistent about it he can certainly I, I believe ask about the lawsuit and um, that would go I think that goes to actually the motive to, to all parties involved to be honest with you so I don't have a problem with it probably does um, now Mr. Price he's already admitted that he's filed a lawsuit right all right so you don't have to ask him about that or you can you can put that in in your question well I mean that's just going to be a preliminary question well, well it's not even a question right okay during it Mr. Masters you have uh, testified on direct that there, you have filed a lawsuit against the police department. Is that right. true? All right. And then what do you hope to get from that? And then he's going to answer that question. Well, but I don't know that getting into sort of these inflammatory things, you know, my, you know, sort of you're using the defendant to like bolster his own argument. So the defendant says in the blog or whatever it is, I filed a lawsuit and they're not going to charge me any money because they believe it's good. And, you know, I'm going to get some money, you know, that's not helpful and and you know you can ask him if he believes he's going to succeed i guess or why did you file a lawsuit and he'll give you the answer as to why he filed the lawsuit but again i think we have all the facts we need right now to have this case dis decided by the jury and we need to be very careful that we don't get tangled up in something that just is not helpful or that its value is outweighed by the possibility that we could be forced to try this case again, which I don't want to do. So you can ask him. It's going to have to be limited about, you know, again, because he's already admitted that he's filed a lawsuit. And I'd say it sort of begs the question, why would you do it? Well, and I, it's very likely what you're going to hear is because, you know, I was unjust, unjustly beat up by the police and I want to get compensated for that. And then what do you get from there? I don't know. All right, what else, did, Mr. Price? Uh, uh, now, the uh, video about LMPD sucks. Did you make a ruling on that? I don't know what, uh, tell me more about it. Uh, he just says LMPD sucks, you know, and then he gives an example of, 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 of uh, if he were to encounter the police, you know, uh, God, I can't, I mean, I can't. But it's after the fact. It's yeah, after it the is fact. after He's the fact. He's already been through this encounter with the police, right? Okay. Right, he's already been through you right right this is this is after the fact but okay. you know judge but, but but that's the reason why I brought up the incident with the police officer I mean you know I mean of course I can't get in the previous resistant arrest in Florida and in Illinois and I understand that but this is the reason why I'm trying to tie to, together this man's state of mind and his motivation to when he encounters the police that he feels it's, it's appropriate not to obey their commands, but to be resistance to them. Mr. Stegman, Stegmeyer, I'm going to get it right sooner or later. <laughs> Fair enough, Your Honor. I think after the fact, I think his attitude changed after this incident. You can't you can't talk about um, what his attitudes are now after going through this particular incident. That's that's not even probative of a state of mind uh, before and during this encounter i mean it, even if it even if it was i'd make another argument if it was before um saying it's not relevant i mean i think i think um the the prosecutor said that this at some point in time some of this stuff went to his mo well i think his mo in this would be that he would walk around the streets searching for undercover policemen so they could take an advantage and, and get at them. I, I, don't, I don't think that falls into any category that he's ever talked about before or after. Uh, again, I think we're, we have all the information we need to try this case, and I don't know that if we add that in there, it's after the fact. It could be 
as much uh, evidence of, you know, just how angry he is with the police for the way the events occurred on December 7 as to his general attitude. And I'm hopeful, you know, maybe that after this particular incident that in the future he'll be less likely to resist the police and maybe comply with their commands for fear that something else might happen that would be unfortunate and, you know, damaging. Something else, Mr. Price? Uh, let me, uh, I'm sorry, Judge, I was in one part. Okay, so that's that. And I think that we've talked about oh okay uh, now judge I do have there, there is one other video prior prior to this incident and that is uh, I, is the Johnny panic video Johnny panic Johnny panic what is that about I think that's his stage name really when he was a rapper down in Florida Okay, so what about it? Well, I mean, it just talks about beating up the police. Okay, as a rapper, is he doing the rapping thing? Uh, yes. Oh, all right, all right. That'll be uh, denied. We're not in. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. Johnny, we're not going with Johnny Panic. <laughs> okay. Just uh, for the record, Mr. Price, how'd you think he did to perform as a rapper? How'd you like his just his act, just generally? You, huh? Johnny, pa Johnny Panic, as a rapper. Well, if I'm a police officer, I don't like it. I know, but just being a just rap aficionado, about. Uh, you know, 360 mob guy, uh, how, how, what do you think about it? I, he was no Jay-Z. All right. <laughs> well, very few people are. All right. All right, all right Judge. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Uh, let me just make sure that that is... Now, just let me be clear on the blog. So you said even those that are after the fact that talk about this incident, I mean, what, what? Well, but the point is this. When they talk about the incident, are, is there, okay, for them to be useful, number one, you're going to have to be able to prove to authenticate the blogs. You'll have to ask him about that. So then if he admits it, yes, these are my blogs. Are there things in the blogs that contradict the facts of the case. And if they don't contradict the facts yes. of the case, well, which, which parts? Let me get to it, Judge. And again, if you ask them the question on cross-examination, may, maybe he'll admit this. If you say, isn't it a fact that during one of your blogging episodes or whatever it is, on a particular day, you said this? And then he, then he can admit or deny it. If he denies it, it's something. But then the question is, uh, you know, uh, how relevant it is or how useful it is. So what is it that you think on this blog? What particular statement that he made do you think that is essential to you? Your Honor, yes, we we never received any of these blogs in discovery either. Okay, and part of it is he wrote them all. You know, when you get into this kind of a thing, it's uh, some of it he has to he's required to give you everything that he's going to use in his direct, and he should put you on notice of these. So I don't know where that is. And again, I, I'm still I, for me, my belief is we have all the facts we need. We have all the facts we need for both sides to argue their case, and it's going to be. No matter how many uh, curly cues we put on it, it's here. It's all here right now. It's all here right now. So, and all we're going to do, likely, is dirty up the trial and improve our chances of some kind of reversible error. So it's going to have to be real good. Anyway. Okay. 
All right, well, that's all I have, Judge. Uh, I said we skip all that, Carl. I'm going to deny you. I'm going to overrule your motion to put all that stuff in there. What we're, what we're down to is that you can talk about asking him about the lawsuit and the purpose of his lawsuit. While we're here, has everybody had a chance to look at these uh, instructions? And I need your Looking comments. Those. Let's go over. Mr. Shore? I haven't personally had a chance yet. Well, you need to hustle. Up. Okay. And Mr. Price, you take a look. Um, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell uh, Deputy Weathers that we're coming back at uh, 20 till. Yes, Your Honor. And that way uh, everybody needs to be ready and hopefully we can uh, plug through this. How much time, Judge? Uh, 20 till. We're going to take about 10 minutes, 12 okay. minutes, something Sorry. like that. You want to go through the rest of it for typos and stuff like that? Yeah. Thanks, man. Well, because he was, he kind of made it seem like, would you tell this jury how you felt about the police? And that's kind of like, how do I feel about them? Honest failure and inconsistency is just a matter of just I looked through it. I just saw one spelling error. That was about it. Really? Which one is it? Uh, it's a threading. I believe that'd be threading. Oh, snap. Ah. All right. Well, That's all I found. Otherwise, we, I don't have any problems. Okay. I'm almost.
Hey, Nancy. Sean Delahanty. Look, uh, my instructions for uh, Jonathan Masters. On the first page, we got a typo. Okay, we'll call him up. <laughs> 